Now, listen, uh, the Teal Independents who have been yeah. elected to the House of Representatives, you make the distinction with the Senate, but she focused on Monique Rhymes in the House of Reps, actually have no power. Labor does not need their votes. But again, Louise Milligan and the ABC, they disagree. You have a look at this. During her first ever question to the government, it's clear from the opposition jeers that the Liberal Party won't soon let this woman forget that she took out one of their brightest political stars. COVID-19 infections in this country are at a record high and increasing. Can the Minister please explain how he proposes to manage the oncoming national significant burden of disability and chronic illness? Put your masks on. From repeated infection. Order. From, from repeated the members... infection with COVID-19. Put your masks on went viral within hours. It was a compelling first glimpse at how this new breed of politicians might wield their power. Jared, is the ABC's Louise Milligan right that this was a compelling yeah. glimpse? of a teal independent wielding her power. Yeah. Well, Monique Ryan went in with the promise that what she wanted to do was to reduce Australia's carbon emissions by 60% by 2030, and she ends up lecturing people by pointing at it and saying, put on your mask. Now, the point is, no one did put on their mask, but Louise Milligan presents <laughs> a member of parliament telling another member of parliament to put on their mask as an exhibit of her immense power. And if you had a look at the program, there are a lot of images there where Monique Ryan is talking to people without any mask on herself. But the idea that you can be powerful in this country by instructing people to put on their mask, I can walk out of this studio today and instruct everyone to put on their mask. I'd be the most powerful person in Sydney. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just bizarre. I don't know how it got through to executive producers and producers and editors. It's just a Milligan fantasy, an absolute fantasy that that's power. There's nothing to do with power. It's probably been a bit impolite, but it's nothing to do with power. Well, Jared Henderson, I have to say, uh, I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. We don't have time to get on to the Paul Barry thing last night on Media Watch. I'll have to perhaps do that with you next week or maybe I'll do it later in this yeah. week. Uh, but um, keep polite, Jared. Keep polite. Hold the banner up high much, for politeness. Uh, Thank you so much for your time.